so here I'm just uh, showing you um, I've taken in the stepper motor here uh, the printer stepper motor it actually had um, three hole uh, sorry four holes already in it and you can see them right there and I took this drill bit and just lined up where is the other drill bit nuts so I took the other drill bit and lined it up so there was just a little tiny bit that could grab and so this just goes in and as soon as it gets in there it, it starts making a new little thread. I'm using stainless steel um, screws so that way it doesn't do anything um, to the coils or anything and just screwing it in tight and then I got these little bolts, stainless steel bolts sorry nuts that go on the back of them and it's really nice and snug it doesn't fit snug anymore. That was probably one of the first ones I did so anyways so turn that off half a turn and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little bolts that go on the back of it. It would probably be better to use a little lock washer with this, um, but I don't want to do it because the, the, the areas that the, they sit on aren't, aren't all even. So maybe with that really bad one I'll use a washer. Just a normal one. Try to balance it out a bit. I think I cross strip that. All right. Maybe they're self-locking a little bit. I didn't see any uh, white stuff in there, but... Just gonna get it right to where it's just about snug. did get some metal shavings. I suggest if you're going to be doing this experiment that you get all the metal shavings out. I used a piece of paper to wipe most of mine out. but uh, So, I have not wound it yet. I mean, sorry, I've finished winding this motor. It is set up. There, get this to flip around proper. That doesn't do it like that. So, what I've done here is I've done Bedini, regular, Bedini, regular, Bedini, regular, Bedini, regular, Bedini, regular, Bedini, regular, Bedini. I think I started off by saying that one. So this is the single wires, um, which I'm going to use as a charger, are 23 gauge and can't remember the length, I'll just write it in the video. And the Bedini ones are 57 inches long. I know that the these ones are a little bit longer, about a third longer than the 57 inches. So that could give you a rough estimate. And for some reason, just by doing this, I, I got really lucky and I had it so most of the time both of the wires would end at the bottom. So I gotta get this back off and now I gotta solder all the leads. All the leads on this motor, all those underneath, I gotta solder all of them. 
and then I gotta color code them and everything so that way I can keep track of which ones are which. See you soon. Okay, so I just wanted to show you. Here is one of the um, coils. Get out of the light there. So the leads off of the coil. It's not it doesn't show up all that great with the skin color. But all you have to do is just keep doing this with some uh, some coarse sandpaper till you get all the um, all the varnish off or whatever the hell it's called. So this is going to be a very long job. And I find when I do it like that back and forth, it's not as effective as when I just do it like this. There, it's almost off. Now let's see if you can see the difference on here. It's hard to see the variation. I'm sure it'll show up better on the in the video. So yeah, and so I've already got another one done, and I got to do this all the way around for every single one of them. So that's going to be fun and very time consuming. Okay, so I have sanded all of the leads. Now, um, I suggest anybody do a continuity test just to make sure that they're all the right ones. And I'm only doing it on um, the single coil ones first, so that way it is easier. I think, okay, nope. All right, so just a quick continuity test. Nothing too difficult. Uh, those two go together, and those two go together. Okay, and I actually broke the lead off of my um, multimed, my multimeter. So um, I just took one of the old burnt, burnt out alligator clips and used that. So quickly go around. Uh, for you, those of you, I know most of you will know, but. Um, that's your continuity. I'll zoom it out so we can get a better image. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So it just makes a beeping noise when you got the right ones. So let's go. So now I gotta heat up the soldering iron and I'll be back. So while I'm waiting for my uh, solder gun to heat up, um, this is uh, 18 gauge wire. I probably should have gotten a bunch of different colors but it's really expensive and I know I could have just harvested it out of things but I, I really want to do a good job with this motor. So uh, 100 feet of each and I'm gonna Hmm. Well, this sucks. I thought I was buying copper wire, and it looks like I bought stupid aluminum wire. Or maybe it's aluminum-coated copper. I don't know. No, oh, don't see anything. First, we want to get the lengths. I think that um, because this is going to be... Where's the bottom mount for... Okay. So I drilled one hole out of here, and I think I'm going to drill another hole there, another hole there, and another hole there. And the windings, uh, one, sorry, two, four, so one, two, three, so it's twelve. So we know we're going to want because of how far these are out, space it out. And this is just an estimation. You don't need to be exact with this if you're going to be doing this same project, um, which I am trying to get more of these motors. And then that way, because I know a few of my buddies are probably interested in trying this out, 
there's no way I'm going to do this part for anyone. This took way too long. I think four or five hours just rewinding this all by hand. So, um, so it'll stick out that far. Um, we probably want strands. Um, the only thing that I'm trying to think about is because the distance from this side over to here. So how about we go with five inch pieces and uh, just an estimation, nothing too exact. Well, that's about three inches. Yeah, we'll say that's five inches. So then you just keep multiplying. And always keep the original that way you don't uh, keep extending the line the whole way up. So I'm going to need six, yeah I'll need six red ones for this. So I'll come back when that's done. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now to do the blacks. Alright, so just gonna duplicate the red one. And now do five more. And one, two, three, four, five, six, done. Now all I have to do is strip off the ends, and when you do this, you don't need a lot. You just want a little bit. Just enough that it can make the connection. And just like that. So you can use my finger as a comparison. Let's see if we... No. Okay, that is out all the way. So yeah, just a little bit as a fingernail. Not a lot. So... If you want exact, I did see my, I'd say it's about a quarter inch. Uh, just a bit over, just a bit over a quarter inch. So do that for all the ends and I'll be back when they're done. So you just want a little bit of solder on each one. Heat it up for a second. There we go. That's it, just a little tiny bit. Not too much, so I gotta do that to all of them. So I'll come back in a second. So I just wanted to show you here. I uh, messed one up. Just gotta get the coil part twisted back around the right way. So yeah, I just added, I put a bit too much on. So we'll just melt that down and that missed it. So yeah, you just want a little tiny bit. And that's it. And now all ends have been soldered. So now what to do is to go to the motor and do the exact same thing to all the leads. Just put a little bit of solder on each and every one. And I'll, uh, I guess I could show you one. One coil. And try not to let the uh, solder drip uh, into the motor, I'm sure that would not be good. 